a little scary being on the sidelines of a high school football game, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you had a spy out in Florida when I was at Miami Central. and There's a thing called the Internet. <laughs> oh, is it on the Internet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see how scared I was? You, you were. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's just, that's just the opening question. How is uh, how are you coming along in your in your rehab and everything? Uh, definitely progressing the way I want to. Uh, there's no set timetable or anything like or date I'm shooting for right now. Um, you know the reports that are coming out. Everyone's gonna put their date on when you know when this injury. Everyone becomes a, a doctor, and everyone has specialists that they know with this injury. But for me, it's just about getting better every single day and being here for my teammates and, and doing the right things I need to do in order to be ready and 100% when I actually do come back. Kyrie Barr, Kyrie David Benham and ESPN, barring any time frame, which I guess we don't we don't know, how has the challenge for you mentally, or how has it been this summer dealing with it? Uh, it's, been, it's definitely been a mental challenge because of, of the way it ended. Um, you know, obviously going out the way I did, it, it wasn't something that I, uh, I wanted to happen, but it did, and I had to realize that and now pick myself back up. So the last three months, three and a half months, have just, just been about getting adjusted back to the game of basketball mentally and uh, fine-tuning a few things that I could. Um, you know, it, But it was definitely tough, and, and I don't think I'm the only one that would say that. Um, the way it happened, the way everything transpired, would have definitely liked to have been healthy for out the, throughout the whole entire playoffs for my teammates, but it didn't happen. Just blessed to be here right now and have a good surgery and, and going to rehab uh, with great with a great team. Chris Haynes, Cleveland.com. Kai, have you found that during this process that you know a lot of older guys when they get older they say the game starts coming mentally there. They don't have the, the physical tools they used to have when they were younger. Now that you're a little hampered, are you finding that you're picking up the game a little bit more mentally? And do you think that this can ultimately help you in the long run? Well, I think the positive. Uh, you know, especially for me from a mental aspect, but more or less from a physical standpoint is I don't play above the rim, and I'm, I'm not a lot faster than everyone else. I don't, I'm not on, I don't blow anybody's mind in terms of my game speed or the way I play. I, I think uh, for me it's just about fine-tuning, uh, you know, staying, staying off the floor a little bit more and, and then definitely utilizing a lot more outside shots that I can create, not only for myself but for my teammates. And... Um, you know, but that's just being more technical and so in terms of my footwork and, and limiting the amount of dribbles I have per possession in, in order for me to get shots off. So that's what it's really been about this whole entire offseason. It's about watching a lot of film of myself and how can I better, you know, in, in, in terms of avoiding injuries, um, going to the basket, falling on the floor as much as possible. And, and, you know, I enjoy finishing around the big men, but I'm, I'm honestly trying to stay off the floor. So uh, it's just been about that and, and getting better in that aspect. Kyrie, David Glazier from News Herald and Morning Journal. Both, um, both LeBron and James Jones talked with some eloquence about rebounding from a loss in the finals and, and, you know, and, and what it takes to get back there the next season and, and win. They seem to hint at both anger and resolve being important components of that. I know, you're, you know this was your first time through, but in your opinion, will it be more anger or resolve or a combination of both that will take this team to the next level this season? Uh, be it'll be a, a lot of both, uh, you know. But I would say for me, it would just be a, a lot more rage and a lot more emotion going out there. Um, won't be too much smiling uh, or anything like that from our team. We, we know the mentality that we have to have. We have a great culture here, a great core group that we're bringing back, some great faces that add value to our team and a lot of versatility. And we're looking forward to the challenge. And um, you know. What's understood doesn't necessarily need to be said from our standpoint and what, we, what we're saying in our locker room. Uh, we know what we have to do and we know what we want to accomplish. Uh, Kyrie, Tom Withers, Associated Press. I know you don't have a timetable on when you'll be back. Can you give us a sense of where you are physically, though, and what you are limited in doing right now? Um, well, I've, uh, I've been, able to, I've been uh, you know, able to run for the last, for the last three weeks. I've uh, been in the gym a, a lot more. Uh, right now, I'm not allowed to do any two-a-days or anything like that because of the uh, the state of my knee, um, and we don't want it to flare up or have any setbacks. So for me, it's just about getting better and, and not missing one day. So if that means going seven days a week, that's what I'm doing, and that's what I've been doing for the last uh, month and a half is trying not to miss those days or miss any time, but obviously we have to be smart about it. And with the team that I have, with uh, Robin Pound and Trevor, that works with Mike Clark from Atlanta, um, you know, we're, we're doing a great job of uh, 
of being smart about it. And, and when I was in uh, doing my rehab in the off season, uh, I was able to use Ron Yakub in, in Miami, and we did a great job of, of getting better every single day. It, it hurt a lot, um, but I mean, repairing or, or getting back from a knee injury or any injury for that sort of saw is going to take a lot of mental will and a lot of physical will. So it's been testing, but it's not anything I can't handle. Carry right in front of you, Jason Lloyd, Tiger Baker Journal. I, I want to make sure I heard you right. You're saying you want to stay off the floor a little bit more because we've talked about this in the past about your style and your aggression. And you always kind of dismissed it and said, I play the way I play and I'm mm -hmm. not going to change. So have you, after this, sort of rethought things a little bit? Uh, well, when you say, when I, when I say rethought or like try to stay off the ground, I mean, I'm not going to stop trying to get to the basket. I mean, I think last year was the, the highest percentage I shot, at, I shot at the basket or finished around the around five feet area. So I don't want to stay from the basket, but in terms of going in there every single time with the likes of, of the centers that we have in the league and power forwards and trying to take the contact and finish, I, I don't think I have to do it every single time. So for me, watching film, seeing the passes I can, I can hit, seeing the teammates I can hit, seeing the angles that I can still use in order to be effective around the rim is what I'm definitely trying to teach myself and get better at. So to avoid those injuries, you know, falling on the ground, falling on my back every single time, knees and all that other stuff, I just want to avoid that stuff. But it's not going to change the way I play. It's just going to be more calculated and smarter in my approach going to the basket. But my finishing is what, make, is what makes me who I am, and it's going to continue uh, to allow me to be successful at the highest level. Kyrie, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. You talked about the mental challenge of just recovering from the injury and getting past that, but how tough is it for you to not think back and say what could have been if you were healthy against Golden State? And what, if anything, during the last few months has allowed you to move past that thought? Uh, for me, it's just having a great, a great support system, more or less having great teammates like I do now. Um, it, it's been tough. From, from a mental standpoint because of because you you obviously pl replay it over and over and over in your mind and uh, it, it sucks to think about um, but for me it's just about what's next and, and how do we move forward from here and I definitely express some of my feelings to my teammates and we all share the same feeling that uh, you know we haven't forgotten uh, I haven't forgotten I haven't forgotten that one play uh, you know that took me out for game one there, there's no blame to go to anyone it was just you know, right spot at the right time, and it just fractured my kneecap. But we haven't forgotten what it took to get there. And while we were there, the experience, but now it's getting better as a team and getting better and more prepared mentally for, for what the challenges are ahead for us. Because every team's going to come into our building, and we're going to go into our building, and we're definitely going to bring their, their energy. Um, that was something we definitely had to learn. But for us, we're, staying right, we're staring right back at them, and we're, and we're coming in with the mentality that we're coming for everyone as well as everyone's coming for us. All right, thanks, Kyrie. Thanks, everybody.